happy to be here today at the Arnold Classic. Can you please tell us a few words in introduction and uh, tell us what brought you here today? Um, uh, obviously, won the Arnold. And because of that, you get a special invitation and I never and would never turn it down. As long as I have help and the fans show up, I'm always gonna show up. And uh, it's always an honor to get that phone call. You cross your fingers. Uh, we would like to have you at the Arnold. And uh, I love being part of the growing trend of health and fitness and being part of the Arnold, being a professional for 22 years already. And uh, I'm not tired, I'm not getting tired. I'm loving it more and more. And the more I meet people that do anything like what you're doing in health and fitness, just makes me more grateful. What is it about health and fitness? Is it the unification of people? What is it that motivates you? Well, for one thing, every single race does it. Every single race loves it. And when you step into the gym, there is no black, white, Asian, African, nothing. This, you know, natives, it's just the gym, what you can do and your physique. And from there, you can start so many conversations, you know, and one of the things I always like to learn is culture. You know, so with, with bodybuilding, you start following other people's culture. Every time I travel for any event, any bodybuilding shows, any country I'm going to, I like to read about that country, learn about the country, you know, from Prague to Italy, to you name it, to South Africa. And you start learning, you know, some of the history is sad, but some of the histories, again, from the ashes and the suffering, always good countries and good people always come out of it and that's just part of history and and i enjoy it because of that because it's not just bodybuilding it's also learning the culture of many of the different people nice very nice and today people from over 180 countries are implementing the project creative society and the creative society is a world where everybody lives with basic needs food, water, medical expenses, free education, you know, things that we should all have. And most importantly, it's a world where human life is of the highest value. In your opinion, how important is it today to build this creative society where human life is of the highest value and we're, we're all united? It, it is, is a dire, the, the world is in dire need of this uh, type of, you know, society because again, bodybuilding is not just looking pretty is also staying mentally strong, physically healthy, and a lot of people forget about food. Sometimes they don't even have clean water. So to have the health and fitness and have somebody from your gym to just say, hey, come to my house, eat, you know, hey, I'll help you, hey, I'll show you. And I do that through bodybuilding. Um, I've helped many athletes. I see many of them that cannot afford to even prepare for a show. And I can do my part, you know, to pay it forward. So if 10 bodybuilders or anybody or 10 fitness or 10 bikinis can do that to another athlete and just pay it forward, I think that's why we're so big in social media. Mm -hmm. I think health and fitness dominates social media and uh, it's through health and fitness and we're setting up the community. The unity, I think it's coming thanks to you guys. And that's why I would do anything to be part of it, part of you. And uh, so I'm at your disposal. <laughs> Thank you. And one more question. On December 4th, people from around the world, again, from over 180 countries, are um, putting together a global conference on the platform of Latra Unites called Global Crisis, Time for the Truth, where scientists, researchers, and people from all over the world will talk about global crisis, climate crisis that are happening worldwide, and the importance of unification, again, in order for us all to survive. In your opinion, how important is it today to inform people about the global climatic crisis that are happening worldwide? It's so important because many people ignore this. They just, they, li they live their lives day to day. They could buy a plastic, throw it, and not know that where this could wind up. Mm -hmm. You know, they could buy f too much food, it can go bad when it could be given to somebody. So the global crisis is so big and it starts first with education. So with the education and not putting politics into it, I think that's key to getting to the person's mind, body and soul and to understanding. Mm -hmm. Once you start putting a global crisis and you're at politics or somebody trying to get into power, that's where the tug of war starts. So let's just keep it at 
let's save you know ourselves from this conflict let's unite be together educate ourselves and politics not involved well i want to tell everybody to uh unite on december 4th okay put everything aside all our differences you know stay focused stay positive and one thing is stay consistent when knowing that every single day you can make a difference